If you guys don't know the sauce yet, this is the secret sauce to getting those fire hi-hats. <laughs> Super simple. The hi hats were super chopped up in this beat. What's going on, people? Welcome to another video. My name is LLB. I'm a producer. I make beats. Today I'm out here making a beat. I thought I'd just kind of go with something like super melodic, super hard drums, something just kind of catchy and like easy to listen to and like something that you can catch a vibe with quickly. Got a few things lined up for December. I'm working on a drum kit. I think that's it actually. I'm just working on a drum kit, but it's going to be a super, super hard drum kit. I'm going to try and outdo the last kit that I dropped, which was the Artemis kit. But yeah, man, make sure you subscribe, like the video because that helps these videos out a whole lot. Uh, and yeah, let's get into this cook up. Alright then, let's go in with this Django guitar. In fact, I'm gonna put that right at the end. I'm gonna put this at the end of the second bar. I'm gonna put it there. And do it like that. Put a bass note in right here. Put a little chop in right here. melody up here all right I'm gonna come in with loop array I'm gonna like try and make this sound like super unique Use some of those lower frequencies out. Reverb. Let's add some kind of layer, some kind of like soft pad, you know, something just to fill out the beat. Come on, retreat him. Let's go in with the same keys as the melody. Let's knock it up on octave though. Half time. In fact, I'm gonna like add a little extra bounce to this by adding like just by duplicating it across and putting it like as like a little two step, almost like a delay. Turn it down. Coming with a vocal. There's been some cool vocals added to Arcade, by the way. So if any of you have got Arcade and you're kind of getting bored of it, get back on it because there's some good vocal chops in there again. Alright, cool. Let's go in with something like it's almost almost something percussive, I think. Just something real subtle. You don't really hear it in there, but like when it gets taken out, then you notice like, you know, a little bit of space being given to the beat. Just really subtle. Have it have like a little pass in there right here. Uh right here. And then keep it a G. that variation right here let's go we're in f army so let's just try playing f turn this up a little bit 125 maybe even faster maybe like 140 yeah that's better okay let's get this bounced out is a wave file i'm gonna down sample it a little bit let's come into here let's go down to like 10k I want a super short, snappy 808 in this beat, like really short. Maybe we can go a 
little bit faster with this beat. Crank this up to like 150. <laughs> Chop these hi-hats up a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's repeat that again for the next bar. I'm going to add some loop rate to these hi-hats. See what we can do with it. Going with like some perks. It's like a little triple effect right here with the perks. Blah, blah, blah. This beat actually turned out pretty, pretty fire. So yeah, let me dive in and show you what I did with this beat. All right, so the first thing I came in with was this contact library called the Django Gypsy Jazz Guitar. If you've seen my any of my previous videos, you know that I go to this, this VST a lot. So we came in with that and put these chords together. Okay, it looks quite complex, but honestly, like there wasn't a lot that went into this. So the first thing I did was just play in two real simple chords, which is C minor and G minor. Just those two chords. And then what I did was just add a little top melody over here, stayed within the scale, you know, something real simple, you know, just real simple up and down keys. Added some bass notes right here. And then if you take a look right here, we added some chops, you know, like some like quick chops just to give you that kind of more of a, like a Western kind of vibe, I guess. And then just played around a lot with the with the velocities, you know, a real guitarist isn't going to be playing everything at the exact same velocity. So, so you want to play with those quite a bit and that's what's going to give you that extra realism. Then we stacked on top of that sound with the exact same keys, just simplified them a little bit. Was this treat and plug in with like a pad preset, it's called 3 Ot Tape Flute, and that sounds like this. Exact same chords, the only things that I did was take out that top melody that I had in the guitar, shorten the keys a little bit so you can see there's like more space between each key, and then just prolonged those chops just to kind of give it more of like a stuttered kind of vibe. Now with those two sounds, I kind of ran them through the same mixer track and added a load of effects. So I came in with Looperator and I made it real subtle. This is just like the one of the presets called Dynamic Re Reverberator. Then I came in with the RC20 standard EQ, just took some took the low end out and then some heavy reverb just to kind of make it feel like it's sat in a room. And that was the effects. Then we came in with a couple more sounds, first one of which was Arcade, a vocal chop. You know me, I like my vocal chops. Super simple. The line was called Poised from the Hot line. The thing that kind of brought this out and makes it sound unique is the effects. Trust me, the effects hands down is what's going to separate your melodies from other people. So yeah, I came in with that and the effects that we came in with was just some EQ. Just wanted to take out a load of the high end because if you turn off this EQ, it's really full and I don't want that. I want this vocal chop to like kind of sit in the background. So took a load of the high end out, took a load of the low end out. Then we added some heavy, heavy reverb. Again, I want this to be like super spacey, like almost to the point where you can't hear it, but you just kind of feel it there in the melody. Then we came in with Looperator again. So that's what we did with the vocal chop. And then the last thing I came in with was just like some kind of percussive sound just to give it more of like a texture. But this was the sound, it was from Expand and it's called Pitched the Gemby from the percussive presets. Followed the exact same chord progression and just made it super simple. Just I just wanted a simple bounce, you know, just to keep things easy to listen to. So this is what that sounds like. Okay, super simple. And then again, the effects is what kind of gives you that added bounce. So I came in with two delays, okay? Just the stock delays. I panned one to the left over here, and then I panned the other one to the right, and then I just played with the time delay. You know, one is at a two-step, the other one's at a four-step. Just experiment with it yourself. It just gives it that added bounce and that stereo width. That was it for the melody. So all in, we sound like this now. Vibey. Then we came in with the drums. I'm not gonna go into crazy detail with this because like everyone has their own bounce, but I'll show you what I did anyway. All right, so first thing we came in with was the 808. This is the Slapper 808 from the Uncharted kit. The link is down in the description if you wanna jump on this. Real simple. 
Just wanted it to hit like not not too often. Leave tons of space so you can hear that melody. I want the melody to be like the most prominent part of this beat. The hi-hats were super chopped up in this beat. Let me play them together with the clap. So we got like a massive, massive amount of bounce with that hi-hat. As you can see, like there's tons of chops. Initially just went in with the simple two-step and then added lots of chop, little triplet chops here, here, some super low notes. The little ups and downs in the pitch, it just gives it that uniqueness. It just makes it pleasing to the ear, I suppose. And then one extra thing to bring these hi-hats out even more was by adding looperator. If you guys don't know the source yet, this is the secret source to getting those fire hi-hats. This loop effect right here is what gives you that almost reverse effect. So this, this effect right here. That bit right there is that section right here. This this is like the source right here. These are little extra things just to kind of play with the dynamics and the sonics of the sound. This really gives it that added bounce. After that, I just came in with like some real subtle supplementary perks. So you put all of that together in this drum loop. Super fire. And then you bring the melody back in. It's a vibe. Try not to go overboard with it. Stop when you feel like you've put enough into the beat. I feel like a lot of producers kind of overdo it and want to just completely fill out the drums. Trust me, just find that initial bounce and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment. I'll let the beat see the rest of this video out. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in, in the next one.